Hi everyone, this is John Schaefer, project lead for At The Gates. You may also have played Civilization V, which was the last game I designed. At The Gates is an empire builder set in the era of classical antiquity. With this setting, you might be expecting to play as the civilized Romans. Well, not in At The Gates. As the empire collapses, you are building a kingdom belonging to one of their barbarian enemies. I really believe that At The Gates is pretty important for the future of strategy gaming. Not because it's going to be a humongous title that sells millions of copies, but because it shows that smaller titles, or at least titles that are developed by a smaller team with a smaller budget, can still have the same amount of depth as much bigger and more expensive games. At the start of your journey, your tribe is small and the landscape still hides its secrets. But over time, you'll grow powerful, discovering fertile new lands and negotiating with other leaders. Or perhaps you'll choose to destroy them. To create at the gates, we're putting a lot of the back-end code into a separate library that we can reuse when we create our next game. We're hoping that if this library flushes out, we'll be able to release it to the public so that other game developers could use it to create games that they'd like to make as well. Rival kingdoms are not the only challenge you must overcome. As the seasons pass, the land itself can become hostile. Your armies and citizens must be prepared as fields will burn up, rivers will burst their banks, and coastlines will become solid sheets of ice. Shrewd leaders plan ahead and use the world around them to their advantage. Assuming the project is funded, from this point forward, I'm going to be working with my friend to be implementing great 2D animations on the units. And as far as the terrain goes, I want to make a lot of different pieces, a lot of variation, so that you don't have any repetition and it looks very organic. The Dark Ages were a harsh time. Eventually, the world's resource deposits become tapped out. You can solve this problem by borrowing from your neighbors, or by moving your entire kingdom and migrating to more fertile lands. Your formidable rivals are represented with portraits that help illustrate their unique personalities. While you can always crush them, it's also possible to forge a mighty alliance by working with them. If Attila's people are starving, then providing him with the gift of food might earn you a friend for life. We can complete the programming with such a small team because the same people who are doing the development are the people who are deciding what goes into the game. Success on the battlefield isn't as simple as having the largest army. Soldiers need supplies, either brought from home or forged from the land. If you're able to find and destroy your enemy's supply camps, victory becomes yours for the taking. Now with Kickstarter, you can put an idea, or as in our case, a prototype in front of the public and see if it's an idea that's worth pursuing. You'll spend much of your time dealing with the Romans, and in the process, you'll become more like them. Completing requests for the Empire or capturing its cities will give you access to powerful new technologies. There are a number of other unique features in At The Gates that we didn't have time to cover in this video, but you can learn more by going to our Kickstarter page. Just head over to kickstarter.com and search for At The Gates. At The Gates is going to be a special game, but only if it gets made. So please consider supporting our campaign and become an important part of an amazing project. Thanks.